Today we're gonna have a little bit of an idea slash inspiration video and showing you guys a few cool things you can do with the media manager in combination with other devices. And hopefully some of these will give you some inspiration to make something really cool out of these. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Number one is adding levels to your sword. And each time you basically kill someone or level up in your map, depends on how you want to do it, your swords get upgraded. So for example, you can see the sword is lighting up a little bit more here, a little bit more orange. And the next time we kill someone, the sword goes into the next level and looks even brighter. You can also technically add all kind of other effects like having glow or an outline on your players. You can technically make this as custom as you want, but the simple concept behind this are just item grinders and obviously the melee designers. But first things first, for each level that you're gonna create, you need a different melee designer. That's very important. The melee designer only does one thing and you, if you change it, then it changes for the entire thing. You cannot have multiple things in one melee designer. And when we come to the item grinders, there's also a pretty simple trick that you can use without having to use multiple triggers or having to use like tons of channels there are enable disable channels and there's a grant item I'm receiving from so that means if we do something we can uh, grant someone the sword and we can also have the option when an item is granted so when the sword is given to someone we can also send a signal this basically starts at a target where a player is sent from this can be done with anything a real player a sentry or even uh, one of the animals or like one of the new henchmen basically all you want to do in your target which makes sure that people can level up is that you find a channel that has the eliminations transmit on so when eliminated transmit on channel 6 so every time we kill the sentry we can send a signal which then means we can level up the sword each time so you can see basically all we have to do is grant this item then make sure that it immediately disables the first level so we cannot get the level again from the same channel and then we move on to the next one and then here we're going to do basically the same thing so we grant basically on the same channel here but make sure that these two or then the next levels that you create are already disabled and then we can basically repeat the whole process basically when the item gets granted which is on channel 8 you're going to disable this one and uh, also make sure that when we send this over to this one that this one gets enabled from the same channel here and then repeat the process over and over again you can do that how many times you want it is really easy to create and something that can really spice up your games and the next one is the sword in the stone or in our case the sword in the fire where we basically pick up an item which already gets applied with the vfx and we can also disable and enable these vfx by doing certain actions for example for example we can disable the fire if we jump into water as you can see the fire is gone now or we can basically just simply go back to our fireplace and light it on fire again and doing this is actually super simple basically all we need to do in the first place is place and sword in an item placer as you can see we have a custom item placer we can put this out here and then we can customize our sword to our likings we can make it bigger smaller we can place it wherever we want really cool item really cool the item placer really changed a lot of things here but that doesn't apply the fire effect great that the item placer also has when item granted transmit on the channel so we can basically very simply as already said in the last video make a fire vfx add that to our sword as soon as we pick it up by using the channel spawn at player when receiving from and then we can also remove it on a different channel if we jump into water where we can basically just use the water device for in this case a very simple all you have to do is when a player enters put the same channel in here and the fire effect gets removed as soon as you enter the water and then if you want to relight the fire basically all we need to do is put a mutated zone over our fire so we basically if we step near the fire with the sword the sword gets activated again when player enters to smit on so we are basically just applying the fire effect as soon as we step into this one go near with the sword to the fire and then we have the fire effect again super simple and super easy to recreate so it's probably one of the most requested ones which is Thor's hammer and how to make a lightning effect if you hit the ground and the funny thing is this one actually works quite well as you can see if we punch the floor right here nothing happens but if we charge up our attack and punch the floor a little bit harder you can see that we get a lightning strike while the hammer hits and this is actually fairly simple to create and basically all you need for this is the vfx spawner and two triggers and obviously the hammer but first things first in the vfx spawner i use the lightning three and i also gave it a custom color so it's a little bit more blue like kind of thor vibe and then we have two channels enable and disable we also want to make sure that this device is disabled from the start so only if we hit something we want to get the thor strike and that is what the triggers are doing uh, the first one is obviously there so we can actually have a hitbox where our signal gets sent to the vfx device so if we hit this we actually send a signal for some reason this only works with the actual charge up attack or maybe the normal attacks are just too 
too little damage to actually activate the trigger on damage in the trigger but in the trigger you obviously want to turn everything off that is like triggered by player you want to turn on trigger by damage and like turn off anything else because you obviously don't want the people to see the device make sure that when invisible also take damage is enabled and give it a channel this one should be the same channel as enabling the vfx spawner so as soon as we hit this we're gonna enable it they're gonna give us the lightning strike and then we want to just disable it with a different trigger which we're gonna play somewhere else in the map and then we can have it on a one second delay so it doesn't really immediately cuts out the lightning strike. So it actually gives it a little bit of time to make sure that the lightning strike fully gets animated and then it cuts it off. It's a fairly simple concept, but it is super effective if used properly. This one is probably one of the most simple ones, but I think personally one of the coolest ones which will make your map so much more unique. That is using the melee managers as like some sort of resource gathering. For example, if you hit a rock, you can see that we get some resources from this and you can do this basically with custom resources you can use custom hammers whatever you want and it's kind of like a cool way on how to get like special resources that you might not get from just using your pickaxe and creating this is even simpler all you need is a prop manipulator and an item grinder the prop manipulator obviously going to put that on an item where you want some special resources to gather from and then what you want to do is make sure that you have an on a damage transmit on we cannot actually use the resource tab here because that only works for pickaxes so um, you do not have to put an actual resource in here uh, we're going to use the, the when damage transmit on a channel so channel 10 for example in this case and then in the item grinder we're going to have a channel 10 as well and i think that is really something that is really unique to creative where you can like create things like this which is super easy to do and the best one for the last these special ability swords yes you can also create them right now and they're actually a little bit harder to create but as you can see we can use our special ability here and we get our purple sword everything lights up in purple we have more damage right now and we can wait until the effects goes over because obviously it's just a special ability that doesn't mean we can keep it forever and bang the sword goes away the lightning effects goes away and we have a cooldown. This is actually not as simple as creating a level system in the beginning, but it is still not super hard. However, you need to start out by obviously having a normal sword first. We need a, the single remote controller with obviously the single remote controls, and we need some special effects. In our case, this is the damage amplifier, which I think is a really cool special effect. And then we also need item grinders, melee managers, and item removers, and a trigger. So how does this work in the beginning? If we use our special effects, which we activate with the single remote controller on channel 5 here, um, we're gonna get a sword. We can get the sword by using the item grinder, fairly simple until here. And um, we obviously also gonna get our damage amplifier power up. Same thing here, pick up when receiving from the same channel. But now what we have is basically a sword in our hand that we cannot just remove without also having one of these in our hands, uh, which is obviously the single remote controller. We don't want to remove that. And the item grinder doesn't give us an option to only remove the sword. However, we can use uh, the fairly newly added item remover to remove the sword, which basically we just need to put on a different channel, which then we can use to give us uh, the other sword. So how this works is that we're gonna trigger with the single remote controller our special effect. Special effect gets activated, sends a signal to this trigger over here, which also has the same cooldown as the special effect. So 10 seconds and then as soon as it finished it sends a signal then it basically removes the purple sword in the item remover and gives us the normal sword so also make sure that you have a normal sword in the item remover so it can get removed as soon as we activate the special abilities and we don't have the same problem with that we have two swords in our hands which kind of looks a little bit dumb and it's really cool to do and definitely has a lot of cool unique things that you can do with it not only just adding a power up but having custom swords that have special abilities or different abilities like obviously using the charge up abilities can be also like a special ability as well so hopefully i could inspire you a little bit with these and uh, give you some ideas on what you can use in your maps and whatnot and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one video or stream twitch.tv and 